Hello YouTube! Today I'm here to bring you How to Write a Resume by Jarachi. Let's start over here. This is my example resume that I show people. Let's maximize that. Okay, so first off, you have your full name. This is not my full name. This is just generic. Uh, but you want it in big letters, bigger than your uh, body. So your body would be about 12. Your uh, name would be about 16 and bolded and over here I have US citizen that is because in my field of work a lot of government jobs are you know recruiting and they want you to be a US citizen okay and then over here we have address line one that's like your street address and then your city state zip code phone number Remember, folks, if you're going to hand out your phone number to recruiters to have a professional voicemail, you don't want that, like, you know, those hip-hop jazzy songs or those k pop -y songs. You want to have, like, a professional voicemail. <clears throat> and then over here, you have your email. And now, again, you want a professional email, like your name. You don't want get swifty 89 you know, at gmail.com. You want, you know, your name or your business at gmail.com. Now over here for objective, you are going to say seeking an entry-level position if you're, you know, looking for a full-time position. Or you could say seeking a part-time position if you're a student, you want to work during, you know, school. Or you could say seeking an internship position, you know, for the summers. As a computer engineer or whatever engineer you are, to apply technical knowledge, this is just a template over here, to apply technical knowledge, expand skill set, and contribute to the goals of the company. Remember, you want to kind of sell yourself to the company, make them want you. You don't want to just say, oh, I'm a computer engineer, I want a job. Okay, next we have education. You do what you're, the degree you're working on, graduation, year, month maybe. And then GPA over here, you want to have a 3.0 or greater. If you don't have a 3.0 or greater, just don't put it on your resume. And then university name. And then if you went to a community college, put that too. Okay, now I have my skill set next. So for computer engineers and computer scientists and computer people, there's going to be a lot here. So over here, I have my line for programming languages, like, you know, Java, C. There's a lot here. Now, I don't put stuff that I'm, like, familiar with, but I put stuff here that I'm comfortable using and I have a lot of experience with. Same with over here, applications. I use Eclipse. I don't put NetBeans, because NetBeans is weird. I've only used it for one semester. Uh, Notepad, MATLAB, and I'll talk more on these later. Operating systems. You know, these things. Certifications. I'm actually working on this one, but I just put it here just for space to see if it fits. And then, you know, if you have CPR or first aid, that's a good place to put it. Interpersonal. You could put your cool soft skills over here, like mentorship, leadership. Uh, over here, I also have my uh, foreign languages. Like, I'm bilingual in English and Tagalog. I've been told to put English first because, you know, I'm in America, so they want to make sure I'm proficient in English. I guess that's how it works. Okay, so next I have my projects. Um, I used to have this at the low experience in volunteer work, but when I went to a job fair the other day, I noticed a lot of people were looking at my projects. So I decided to move that up to the top. Let's see, I have my solo project over here, my group project over here, and I have like a brief description about it over here. Next, I have my experience in volunteer work. You want to state your position over here, and then company name, city, state, and then time. And then for your bullet points, you want to use, try to stick it to one line, and then Make sure you start it off with a very descriptive word, like tutor or assisted. You don't want to say like, oh, I tutored, blah, 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 blah. You want to start with tutored, blah, 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 And let's see. Uh, volunteer hours are a plus. You know, they look good. Okay, I have student researcher. Oh, over here. 
I mentioned here that I have HTML5 CSS notepad. Where do you see that stuff? Over here. Yay! So when you put skills up here in your skill set, you want to like say what you did with them. How long, not really how long, but how you used it. The employers want to know like, okay, you know this, what have you done with this? Oh, here you go. I did this with it. Oh, that's my computer. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Aerospace engineering intern. This one I decided to leave on because it made me well versed. I'm not uh, an aerospace major, I'm a computer engineering major, but doing this internship helped me uh, learn about the engineering process and the different stages, the research, the calculations, designs, and all that, and then presenting it to people at the end. So it was a pretty useful internship. I highly, highly recommend you guys get internships before you graduate. And then finally, I end with accomplishments and affiliations. This is where you can put scholarships and, you know, put your school name in there, awards and affiliations. Uh, I put the years because I'm no longer active in these organizations, but these two I'm still very active in. And that's all I have for my resume. Um, general tips, keep try to keep it one page long and use resume paper like the beige kinds because I still see people using white paper and you know if you have a beige resume then it'll stand out a bit more and finally my parting advice or my parting gift I say is to be active because you know if you're a freshman you don't you might not have all of this you want to volunteer like at a high school or at your local you know place or at your tutoring center, who knows. Anywhere you could find volunteer work, I would do it, and then you could put it on. And then as you gain experience, you could remove like the, not the irrelevant stuff, but the stuff that doesn't pertain to your major. You could slowly start removing those things and put in stuff that actually has to do with your major, the more time you spend volunteering and getting internships and stuff. Also, if you are a freshman or sophomore, Companies might want to know if you've already taken calculus or physics or anything. So if you don't have a skill set or projects or anything, I would put related coursework. So for like calculus and stuff. By the time you're senior year, it's already expected of you to have taken calculus and stuff. So companies don't want to look for that. Okay, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them in the and the comments. Okay. Bye. Thank you.